Dear students, uh, under five years plan in India, uh, I'm going to discuss about sixth five year plan in India. So in the last class, we have discussed about the fourth five years plan and fifth five years plan of India. We have discussed different challenges faced by the plans and the achievements that were realized by during this planning period too. So uh, most of the plans before six five year plans are uh, dominated by the ideology of socialism. And the concept of close economy was there. So the objectives of that five year plans from one for first five years plan to the fifth five years plan, uh, all the strategies, all the objectives were dominated uh, by the ideology of social. But so far as from six, five years plan is concerned, this plan, the era of the era of economic liberalization was started from this plan or the process of economic liberalization were initiated, was initiated during six, five year plan. So uh, six, five year plan uh, was, is considered one of the successful plan in the planning history of India. Uh, the basic objectives of six five year plan was to improve the inform basically uh, it emphasized on the improvement of uh, information and technology sector so that the self reliance can be realized so uh, let's see what were the objectives of six five years plan so before that uh, we need to discuss uh, about the uh, pattern of economic growth or the trend of economic growth up to 1990 from 1961. So uh, from this graph, what we have seen that uh, the growth in Indian economy, the growth rate, GDP growth rate in Indian economy uh, was fluctuating due before six, five year plan. You cannot uh, realize or see a linear trend of the or upward sloping trend of the growth curve or the trend of growth curve. So uh, before 1980, uh, the growth of uh, Indian economy was fluctuating. The fluctuation was more at the time, but after six, five year plan, implementation of six, five year plan, you will see the growth rate is increasing. Yes, there is fluctuation, there was fluctuation, but there is uh, also a linear trend of the growth rate. So in the, from a six, five year plan to 1990 before economic liberalization uh, that was formally taken in Indian economy, the growth rate was quite good at the time. So that is why we need to discuss uh, about the strategies, strategies uh, that were imposed, that were implemented in Indian economy during the planning process. So that is why the discussion of six, five year plan is very important from the point of view of economic growth or from the point of view of different dimensions of the economy. So the economy realized at the time, the economy realized a very good growth rate. So let's see what were the objective of six, five year plan. The basic objective of six, five year plan was to eliminate unemployment and underemployment during four five year plan or fifth five year plan uh, one of the important issue of indian economy uh, was unemployment emerging unemployment in the economy and the concept of underemployment was also relevant at the time so the basic focus uh, that was given by six five year plan to upgrade the uh, employment situation in the economy by creating different employment opportunities in the economy. So the second uh, objective of this plan to raise the standard of living of the poorest masses. So at the time, uh, inequalities in the economy were very high. So the races are enjoying much more economic benefit as compared to the poor sections of the society. So that is why the standard of living of this poor section were very poor. So in this plan, the uh, importance were also given in the upliftment of the social sector uh, indicators like 
drinking water, healthcare facility, roads, basic, that the basic needs that were required to maintain a good standard of living. So another objective to reduce disparities in common wealth. So I already mentioned that there is high level of disparities and income inequalities among different sections of the society. If, you, if we take into consideration the process of industrialization, most of the capitalists were got the benefit from the industrialization. So far as green revolution uh, was concerned, is concerned, so in the green revolution, most of the capitalist farmers, that means uh, the farmers who were rich, they used to grab the benefit of green revolution, but uh, the benefit of green revolution did not uh, select to the uh, small and marginal farmers. They were not able to implement uh, the process of green revolution at that time. So that is why this may be the causes of uh, income inequalities, wealth inequalities in the economy. Too. So that is why the six five year plan give emphasis to reduce disparities uh, so far as income and wealth is concerned. So another, I have already mentioned that to provide basic needs of life such as drinking water, healthcare facilities, road in rural areas and minimum services for those living in urban areas. Another uh, objective of this plan is to achieve self-reliance. So self-reliance is always been a um, was always been a major objective of Indian planning. So these were the objective of six five-year plan in India. So let's see what uh, were the achievements and failures of six five years plan. During six five years plan. Different rural development schemes were undertaken by the government of India. So that is why so that the uh, rural economy can be improved. So from the six five year plan onwards, uh, there was massive investment in the social services. So social services were given more emphasis uh, in this planning time. So these social services included education, health and family planning, housing and urban development and other services. A special attention was paid to removal, uh, removal of poverty through the rural development schemes such as, so I had mentioned that the schemes, the uh, government of India had initiated different schemes. One of the important schemes is training of rural youth for self-employment. And it was started in the year 1979 Integrated Rural Development Program, IRDP, was launched on October 2nd, 1980, all over the country. The National Rural Employment Program, NRP, was launched in October 1980 and became a regular plan program from April 1981. The Rural Landless Employment Guarantee Program, RLGP, was launched on 15 August 1982. So rural development was one of the core agenda of the six five-year plan. So through this implementation of these schemes, through these implications of the scheme, it was realized that it will definitely add some hello in the rural areas and it will definitely increase the skill of the rural population. So uh, before the target of six five-year plan was to reduce poverty. So before the planning, the poverty was 47% and target was to reduce 30% as peaks to SIF. The actual target SIF at that time was 37%. So this plan uh, was successful to reduce poverty in India though it uh, did not receive the targeted uh, rate but still it uh, helped to reduce poverty from 47% to 37%. And one important initiative taken by the government of India during this plan is the National Bank of Agriculture and Rural Development was established for development of rural areas on 12th July 1982 by recommendation of the Sivaraman Committee and family planning was also expanded in order to prevent population. So 
from the steps taken by this six five year plan we come to know we came to know that uh, uh, rural development was given more emphasis and that is why different uh, schemes were implemented during this plan so at that time the rate of population growth was also very high that is why the government implemented the family planning in india during this plan the six five year plan was a great success to indian economy there is no doubt because the targeted growth rate was 5.2 percent and at the actual growth rate was 5.7 percent that is why we can say that this plan uh, was a successful plan during the planning history of india so however the six five year plan marked the beginning of economic liberalization price controls were eliminated and ration shops were closed these decisions uh, these decisions taken by the six five year plan and um, resulted increase in the food prices and increase in the cost of living Though different initiatives were taken, different schemes were launched, but this plan did not able to achieve the objective of to reduce inflation. So during this plan, the inflation rate was very high because the government price controls were eliminated and ration shops were closed. So. This is all about six five year plans that I have discussed, and there may be different new issues too. Uh, in the uh, next class, I'm going to discuss about seven five years plan in India. These were the achievements of six five years plan, and one of the successful plan in the history of Indian planning is the six five year plan because the targeted growth rate was 5.2 percent and the achieved growth rate was 5.2. Seven percent. So different questions may come in the competitive exams related to this scheme. So if you have any doubts, if you have any queries regarding this class, then kindly put your questions and queries in the chat box so that I can clear your queries or give a good answer of your question. Thank you.